Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to its rainmaking time. It gives me great pleasure to be introducing to you Dr. Edmund Chen, who is the founder of the Life Extension Institute in Palm Springs and in other parts of the world. He is one of the key foundational doctors on this earth who has been a proponent of human growth hormone and has had it in his practice for years fought to have it in his practice, fought to bring it to you, the public, before most people ever knew what was going on with it and its huge contributions to balancing not only hormones, but to enhancing the anti-aging properties of our body, increasing life extension, and giving us a true sense of a fountain of youth. But it's not just a sense. We found out that there has been a Nobel Prize given to three scientists who have been working exclusively on something called telomerase. And Dr. Chen has known about this for years. It's validated his many, many years of work. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome live from China, Dr. Edmund Chen. Welcome to It's Rainmaking Time. Hello to everybody. Thank you so much for being here. Let's begin to explain this blockbuster discovery for which the Nobel Prize was given to these three scientists that's validated your work. What is telomerase? Tell the public what it is, lay the foundation, and we'll go from there. All right. This year's uh, Nobel Prize in Medicine was given to uh, three scientists involved in the research of telomere and telomerase. Now, uh, and unfortunately, the press never gives a clear explanation of what these are, and here I'm trying to do their job, do the job for them. Telomere is the tail end of our DNA. The DNA in every cell in our body has a DNA, that's a genet- your genetic code, and it's a, it's a double helix chain. At the end of that chain is a tail, call it, they call it telomere, give it a name called telomere, and that tail determines the age, the longevity of your cell, and the health status of your cell. So by looking at the telomere of your DNA microscopically, we can say, oh, this cell is very old. Uh, you are 70 years old. We can look at the telomere very long and say, oh, you're 20 years old. Or you're actually uh, 20 years old, but you, you are actually biologically 70 years old because it's so short. Uh, and, uh, or that it's disease, that you must have a disease now in the cell to make this telomere so short in a 20-year-old. So it gives a, it gives a, lot, a lot of information. And the scientists won the price because they found out that there is an enzyme in the cell called telomerase. And the telomerase is an RNA molecule that lengthens the telomere. All right. So uh, as, as uh, most of you or some of you know, oxidation, we breathe oxygen uh, to, to live, for, to derive its energy. And oxidation actually shortens the tail. And as the, as the cell divides into daughter cells, like our skin cells, our skin cell actually is only 90 days on this planet, and it goes. It sh- we shed them, and a new, new face cell, for example, is, is, is born. So many cells in our body are, 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 has a constant turnover, and the telomere allows the daughter cell to be youthful-looking or ugly-looking. So, so in, for example, in a 90-year-old lady, the, the face, her face cell actually is just as uh, young or, 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 on this planet, at least, as, is the same as a, a 10-year-old baby. But why is her skin cell, daughter cell, so ugly and the baby cell so nice? It's because the telomere in her m- mother cell is so short and giving birth to a, a daughter cell that's so ugly. Even though it's only 90 days on this planet, it's still ugly. So, and, and, and the disease the same way. The disease the same way when it's short telomere. It gives us a telomere daughter. The, this, the cell will be just as diseased or sick. And, 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 and God, for lack of a better word, uh, give us the power to heal that, to, 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 to lengthen it, uh, to lengthen the telomere. We can fix it. We can fix our diseases. We can fix the, the aging. We can fix the ugly uh, looking at 80 year old daughter cell by changing the length of the telomere, which is the job of the telomerase. Now, the press failed to tell the whole world that 
what, what is the time race controlled by? It must be controlled by something else. Wouldn't it be nice if we can have send a message or email, a letter to the Talam race and tell it to, hey, repair, repair. He might tell me wrong. And, and unfortunately, the press did not say that, and, and, and I'm going to say it for the press. It's, yes, that is, is known and, and confirmed that Talam race listens only to hormones. Let me confirm that. So, ladies and gentlemen, telomerase listens to hormones and acts yes. accordingly. Go ahead. Yes, and, and, and to be specific, bioidentical hormones. There are two classes of hormones. One class of hormone is man-made, we call synthetic or, 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 or uh, chemically made. Actually, they're chemicals. That, that, that act like hormones, and those are bad for the body. They cause cancer. You have, you have heard enough of that. Now, bioidentical, for lack of a better term, is God-made, okay? It's, it's bioidentical or God-identical. It's identical to your body. So do not take any hormones that is not already in your body exactly the way it is. Any hormones that are made by men, pharmaceutical companies, can cause cancer. And only bioidentical hormones control and communicate with the telomerase. And it tells the telomerase to keep working or, hey, today is a vacation. Off, oh, it's Saturday, okay? Go to rest. Okay, it, that message, in fact, is called hormone. If you ask me what hormone is, it's just an email. It's a fax. It's a letter. That's what the Latin word hormone means. It's a letter. So next time I say the word hormone, you say letter. I'm just as happy that you understand it. <laughs> and, yes. And, and, or email. Call it email. And, uh, it's, a, it's an email to tell the telomerase to link. Today is not Saturday. Please work. Work to lengthen my telomere. Why? Because I want to be healthy. I want my cells to be healthy. I want my next daughter's cell to be healthy looking not like the 80-year-old lady's new cell on her face. Uh, I want my cell to live long. I want longevity. Uh, God promised us, uh, if you're not religious, just use this as reference, uh, Genesis 6-3. God promised us 120. In the Abraham days, they lived to 900 years. God says, hey, you people sin too much. No more. No more 900, 200, 300 I'm going to give you a maximum of 120, and that promise is in the books. And, 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 and we can hold that. If you're religious, you can hold God and say, hey, you promised me, promised me 120 good years. Don't shortchange me a 70, 80, 90, 100. Even 100, I'm not happy. The thing that's complex about this is that hormones have been around for a long time. I'm 50 years old, and we were told years and years ago to stay away from it. It was scary. I now am on bioidentical hormones. I take progesterone. And I've read a lot about it, but I'd like to know what is it that keeps telomerase not growing or not elongated? In other words, why is it that we need growth hormone to tell the telomerase to stay young or to do its okay. thing? Excellent question. Two processes shorten the telomere. Number one process I mentioned earlier is the oxidation process. We breathe oxygen, and oxygen is expressed as O2. And we split the O2, two oxygen molecules, in order to, de de to de derive the energy therefrom. Now, imagine H2, hydrogen, is expressed also as H2. When you split an H2, it's a hydrogen bomb. That's what hydrogen bomb is. A hydrogen bomb splits H2 into HH. So you can imagine, and actually you, you can understand, when I say oxidation, actually it's a nice word. We are detonating oxygen bombs every second in order to derive the energy therefrom to